upgrade the RAM in your laptop. If you're into gaming or my new hobby of editing videos, there's certain applications or certain programs out there that are just quote unquote RAM hogs. They just eat that stuff up and you really can't get enough of it. Uh, I finally reached the point where I needed to do the upgrade. Didn't find much out there on how to do it, so here we are. But step by step, I'll show you how to take your computer apart, get the RAM replaced, put it back together, and get you back up and running in no time. Check it out. Okay, today we're going to swap out the RAM in this laptop. This is a Lenovo G50-40 laptop. As far as this goes, they're all about the same in the Lenovo family. Okay, obviously now we've flipped it over. What we need to do is, of course it's not plugged in before we get inside here. Pretty 101, but I figure why not throw that out there just in case. The second thing we need to do is remove the battery. There's one switch on the side. It'll now have a red indicator, meaning it is not locked, which is what we want. We're good to go. There's another switch on this side that can only go in one direction. So once you have this unlocked, go ahead and slide this over in the one direction. The battery pops up. And now we can go ahead and remove the battery. The next step would be give it two, three minutes. There's still a charge inside there. Let's give it a little time to run down before we open things up. Okay, now on the back side, there's several screws going all the way around. The laptop is made in two ways on the back. One is for getting to the internal, internal parts, if you will, that we don't need to have access to. What Lenovo has done and a lot of the laptop manufacturers have done is they've put in this access panel on the back so you can get at what it is you're able to do either as a individual or a shop that's more readily accessible. So in other words, there's screws all around this. We don't need to worry about any of these exterior screws. There's two on the inside here. The only ones we need to worry about are the three that go along the bottom of the laptop that are attached to this internal plate. Again, it just goes around the outer back of this here. There's three screws. Once these are removed, there's even a little diagram here where this will slide and pop right off. One screw cooperated, the other two didn't. Again, for electrical purposes, it's probably not a good idea to use a magnet to pop those out, but there we go. Now, you just take this piece, and you can see right along here, there's a little arrow that points downwards. And I'm on this slick surface, so I'll try my best to keep this in place here. Very easy. All right, now that we have it opened up, when we want to replace the RAM, it comes with two chips of RAM. One has two gigabytes, one has four gigabytes. Now on the back labels, this one says four gig. Pretty simple math, but I'm going to fairly safely assume this one is our two gig. Now what I'm going to do is take out the two and put in an 8. Essentially now I am doubling the gigs of RAM that this computer has. You can go all the way up to 16. I decided I'll just get one, throw one in there and see if that does what it needs to do. At 30 bucks a pop I guess it's not that big of a deal but if I can keep 30 bucks in my pocket 
that's a bigger deal to me anyway. So to remove these, if you have a small plastic item would be better. Again, now we are creating a dead point if we do have static on our hands, in our body. So we go to touch this, we're not gonna send that shock through the system. But I'm gonna use this metal piece anyway and just be careful not to scratch everything up as you go. Now there's two clips on each side, it looks like. So let's, okay, it popped a little. This appears to be spring-loaded and <laughs> it's spring-loaded. So there is our two gigabyte chip. Let's see what happens. It come, that couldn't have been easier. It's, it, I mean, it, it just, it fell out on its own basically. So here's our two. Let's see if it has it on here. Okay, it doesn't show anywhere on here that I could see that shows two gigabytes, but this one again definitely says four. So let's see if we get lucky. Now this one I bought from Crucial, crucial.com, C-R-U-C-I-A-L.com. They have a program on there, if you'd like, where you can put in your computer's information and it will tell you the exact parts you need for your laptop. So you don't have to worry about, am I buying the right part or not? This is the one they recommended and it's hard to see. I don't know if it'll show up on there or not, but this one is the eight gigabytes. Okay, now I should probably also be wearing rubber gloves, but I don't have any. Now, my only concern is, this one came out this way. This has the label on top like this one does, with the Samsung on this one logo was down. This one, the Samsung logo is up but we do have the teeth we can line this up to. So right now, I'm backwards. You can see the slot here, the slot here. So, again, I'm not the smartest guy, but I'm going to say this is the correct way to put this in. So it almost fell out on its own, and it slid right in feels like it's all the way in. Push down, you hear two clicks. I'm going to say we're done. Let's put this bad boy back together and see what happens. Well, if you're one of those people that overthinks things like I do, which you probably can't tell by the way I'm going about doing this, but these screws, when you put them back in, this is a plastic case. So I would recommend once you get to the point you're feeling a little resistance, give her about a quarter turn. It's snug. I'm going to say that's good enough. All right, let's pop the battery back in. Yeah, it figures. That was easy. You would think the battery would be the easiest part. I should do a video on how to remove and install a battery. Okay. 
make sure you close that part off it's now locked flip her back over and let's see what happens And it looks like we're back in. All right, we're in. Everything looks good. Now let's double check. First, we'll let everything load. This might take a little longer. I don't know, but I would assume I swapped out RAM. Some of that might be utilized at startup. It is taking a little bit longer than usual, but everything is loading up fine. All right, now let's confirm everything worked out okay. Click on my computer or this PC, or should say this PC. Go to systems properties, and we now have 12 gigabytes of RAM. I would say that was a success. Hopefully, you learned something from this today. If I skipped over something or you're not sure about something, simply leave a question down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.